There's only one thing we say it's do. Few years have passed since Trunk's defeat of Cell. The survivors of the android onslaught have continued to rebuild their towns and cities, and their lives have finally returned to normal. Now free from the fight for survival, Trunks also spends his days living a peaceful life with Bulma. All right, I'm gonna go on another patrol now. I want to see if Chi-Chi, Master Roshi, and the others are okay. You're calling them patrols now, huh? You know, things have gone back to normal. You should try to relax more. I know nothing major has happened since I defeated the androids, but I still feel like we should be on our guard. Fair enough. Well, good luck on your patrol then. Be careful, okay? Right. Be back later. Let's see. Where should I start? Hello there. Uh, huh? Uh, oh, uh, hello. Well now, you certainly do seem to possess a good spirit. A uh, spirit? Future freedom fighter, Trunks, the warrior of hope. I don't know what it is, but there's something, something different about this guy. Just, who is he? He's floating? <laughs> There's no need to be surprised. After all, you can do this too, can't you, Trunks? Uh, who are you? How do you know my name? You, you're, you're not an android, are you? Why, you insolent little, do you have any idea who this is? He occupies a position higher than that of even the Kai's. He is none other than the Supreme Kai. Wait, higher than the Kai's? Supreme Kai? I don't know what any of that means. But are you trying to say he's a guardian or something? No, not exactly. It would take a great deal of time to explain, but all you need to know at this point is that I stand above the beings who govern this universe. Right, I see. This gentleman here is my attendant, Kibito. Hmm. Hello. He doesn't seem that friendly. We're here to inform you that Earth, no, indeed the entire universe is in grave danger. The entire universe? Hold on. What are you talking about? What do you mean? Your reaction comes as no surprise. Allow me to explain everything as best I can. A great evil is on the verge of awakening from a deep slumber. A terrible creature that once threatened all of existence. He is capable of destroying hundreds of worlds in just a few years' time. This being is known as Boo. Majin Boo. Majin Buu. He sounds terrifying. The person responsible for Majin Buu's creation, the evil wizard Bibbidi, planned to attack Earth and brought the orb in which Buu is sealed. With Buu sealed away, we were able to defeat Bibbidi, but we left the orb where it was, fearing we'd accidentally break it. Unfortunately, Bibbidi had a son, another evil wizard known as Babidi, who aims to break Buu's seal and unleash him upon the world. He'll no doubt revive Boo, fulfill his father's wish of laying waste to this planet, then move on to other worlds. Th that sounds awful. Indeed, that is precisely why we are here. We need your power to stop Bobbity. Your Super Saiyan ability will be of great use. Whoa, you know a lot about me. So this wizard Bobbity you mentioned, is he really that strong? Bobbity himself is frail and poses no real physical threat. However, his deadliness lies in the strange magic he wields, making him a difficult foe. He is capable of controlling the minds of the evil and covetous. Bobbity uses this sinister technique to afford himself a large number of loyal minions who do his bidding. Magic? I don't think I've ever fought anyone who uses magic. 
In order to prepare you for the fight ahead, we'll need you to join us in the land of the Kais and learn to wield a sword of legend. A sword of legend? Yes, in the sacred land of the Kais, where we'd like you to follow us. I see. I'm not sure how much help I can be, but if it's to defend peace, I'll join you. But before I do, please give me some time to speak with my mother and take care of a few things. Is that okay? Understood. Once you're prepared to leave, please come speak to me again. Oh, Trunks! You're back already? Did you forget something? Mom, something's come up and I don't think I'll be able to come home for a while. Huh? Do you think you'll be gone for long? I'm not entirely sure. But don't worry, I promise I'll come back. Oh. I understand. Try not to get yourself into trouble, okay? Right. Wish me luck. So, uh, how do we get to the land of the Kais? Kabito here will be taking us to the sacred land. Now then, Kabito, if you would be so kind. Supreme Kai, I must admit that I'm uneasy about letting a mortal step foot in such a sacred place. But if you command it... I'm getting the feeling this guy doesn't like me. Now, stand by my side. Uh, okay. Okay, we're off. Kai Kai! What? Is this... instant transmission? Indeed, it's a special technique of Kabito's. Welcome to the sacred land of the Kais, Trunks. So, this is the land of the Kais. It kind of looks like Earth. This place is a holy world which not only mortals, but even the Kais and other gods themselves are not permitted to enter. You should feel honored. Oh, I see. Hmm. That mortal outfit of yours does a disservice to this esteemed world. Huh? W wow. It suits you, Trunks. Uh, y you really think so? <laughs> it's kind of hard to move in this. Now then, allow me to once again explain why we've asked you to come here. As I mentioned to you back on Earth, we will have you learn to wield the legendary sword of this land. That is none other than the Z-Sword, a legendary weapon that has never been wielded before. You mean, no one's ever used it before? Then how am I supposed to learn to use it? First, let's have you take a look at what we're talking about. Follow me. This blade thrust into the ground here is the Z-Sword. To the best of my knowledge, no one has been able to remove the blade from its rocky prison. Okay, so that's what you meant by never been wielded. So, how will this sword help us once it's out? Is its blade extremely sharp or something? Legends say you will be imbued with immense power. Perhaps even enough to destroy the infamous Majin Buu. For eons, this has remained. Neither I nor countless other Supreme Kais could remove this remarkable sword. So as a mortal, you will most certainly fail. Well, I guess we'll just have to see for ourselves. Hmm. Here it goes. <laughs> Damn, it won't budge. Hmm. Okay, let's try this. Ah! Oh my. This is what a Super Saiyan can do? What incredible power you have. How could a mere mortal possess this? It 
It's no use. Several Supreme Kais before you have tried and failed to remove it. There's no chance you could ever succeed. No! He did it! Uh, wh what? I... I don't believe this. Tell us, Trunks, how does it feel to wield the legendary Z-Sword? I've been fighting with a sword for a long time, but this... this sword doesn't really feel all that special. Is that so? Perhaps if you spend more time with the blade, you can eventually draw out its latent power. Well, he should familiarize himself with the sword in combat. Indeed. Wait, wait, wait a minute. This sword is extremely heavy. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to fight using this thing. Could we maybe hold off on the training? I need some time to get used to wielding it. What? Such a disrespectful request. Wait, Kabito. Trunks is well within reason to request that much. It might be prudent for him to get comfortable with the blade first. Mm. Very well. See to it you do not put off your training for long. Right. Seems Kabito has taken on the role of instructor here. I am truly at a loss for words. I never imagined you'd be able to so freely wield the Z-Sword in such a short amount of time. A most impressive feat! It took some effort, but I think I can wield it like any other sword now. Hmm. Supreme Kai, should we perhaps move on to the training at this juncture? I think we can. What do you think, Trunks? So, what exactly are we going to do for the training? Am I just going to spar with you, Kabito? Hmm. That should suffice. Let's begin. Wait. I think I'd like to gauge Trunks' ability and his technique with the Z-Sword. What do you think? What? You want to fight me yourself? I, I'm sorry, but you, the Supreme Kai, intend to fight? It'll be fine. In fact, I'm quite looking forward to the fight. After all, we'll get to learn more about Trunks and the Z-Sword itself. Understood. If that's how you feel, then it would be an honor to fight you. Now, please don't hold anything back. Okay. Time to put this Z-Sword to the test. Here I come. Good. I want to properly gauge your power. Just as I envisioned, this power is incredible! There's still more where that came from. Just you wait! It's over! You won't get away! What? Incredible! Now it's my turn! Supreme Kai, how's this? This... This is unbelievable! It's over! Take this! Go! Get it! Here it comes! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! It's over! Take this! I never imagined you possessed this much power! And once I mastered this sword, I should be even stronger! You're training here for now, shall we? I'm afraid I won't be able to keep up much longer.
Maleficent! Your power and abilities far exceed anything we could have imagined. I'm confident our decision to choose you was the right one, Trunks. Uh, thank you. But I still don't feel much power coming from the sword. Hmm, perhaps you still need more practice. Hopefully something will change if we give it more time. Trunks, your training is showing results. You, the wielder of the Z-Sword, should have what it takes to draw out the blade's power. Uh, right. I'll do what I can. Actually, given what I was able to glean from our sparring match, it seems we aren't suitable training partners for you. We've underestimated you. In a good way, someone of your caliber deserves stronger opponents. That means a lot, coming from someone like you. You'll no doubt get much more out of your training if you're up against someone much stronger. Uh, yeah. I guess you're right. Hmm. As it stands now, there is no one in this land any stronger than we are. If fighting with us is not sufficient for your purposes, then you will have to train within your own mind. There, you should be able to conjure any sort of powerful opponent and reflect on their technique. However, that sort of exercise has its limits. Okay. Hmm. That's it. That's exactly it, Kabito. Huh? What? What do you mean? I'll peer into your mind, then take whomever you envision and project them back more clearly into your mind. If all goes well, it should appear as though that person is actually right in front of you. Wow, that's amazing. A wonderful idea, Supreme Kai. You've outdone yourself again. Well, shall we get started then? Just go ahead and imagine someone with whom you'd like to spar. <laughs> 